Hi there, today we're going to talk about how you can get some super rare mountain items in Final Fantasy XIV. Now these are rare, but they're not difficult to get if that makes any sense. It's just more tedious if anything. We are talking about the Ixion mount, the level checker mount, this cool elephant suit, some bardings, and many more other things. These are all tied to one specific activity in Final Fantasy XIV, and that is boss fates. Now the first thing you absolutely need to do is join the Centurio Hunt Discord. I will have the invite link down below and basically this is going to be your home base for everything on these rank hunts as well as some other special activities that you might want to look into in the future. You also see my Discord link so you might as well join that as well since you're down there. I will be breaking down all the boss fates and locations as well as the vendor locations and turn in rewards in the timestamps down below if you're using this as a reference guide for the rewards. Once you join the Discord, you can find a registration page and then a role selection page where you're going to choose which data center you're on. I would just join your current data center even though we have data center travel now because this happens really fast within a few minutes and you won't have time to transfer between data centers to make these fates. The other main benefit of this Discord is just because these fates pop really quickly and finish really quickly. This is something to use when you're already playing Final Fantasy XIV or near it with it open on your computer or console. You probably won't make it in time if you have to boot up console and computer and then jump on, so you're really only doing these when you're already online. Now in the Centurio Discord you'll want to scroll down to Crystal Fate Rolls or your Data Center Fate Rolls. This is where you'll find all those special fates. We're going to ignore the rest of everything else, but if you want a video on that, then let me know. At first, you may want to collect all of the fate rolls so then you can get pinged for everything, or you can just work on a few specific ones. Ixion is the one that I'm recommending because it can take a long time and it nets one of the best rewards in my personal opinion. Now that you have got the selected rolls, we play the waiting game. Once a fate has popped and a notification goes up in Discord, you're on a time limit to get there. Now, crystal fates can pop on any crystal world server. So if you're on Goblin like me and something pops on Brynhildr, then you'll have to travel to one of the starting cities, world transfer, which only takes a few seconds, then teleport to the area of the fate. A few key notes here is to make sure which world the boss pops on so you're not wasting time traveling around, as well as check the instance in which the boss pops. Not as common now, but sometimes Final Fantasy XIV will create instances to which you can change by just going to the nearest etherite in that area and choosing either instance 1 or instance 2 or instance 3, depending on how many people are there. But again, you can find that on the Discord notification, it will tell you. Once you are in the correct instance and area, let's say the first portion of Endwalker at the etherite, I usually like to give a shout that I'm on my way in the chat so then people know that more players are coming. A lot of the time these bosses aren't pulled right away, they wait until a good amount of people are there so then it goes quicker. This really helped in a particular time when Ixion had spawned and people actually slowed down and stopped DPSing so I would make the fate and get the rewards. Now when you get to the area, you'll want to join a party when you go to the fate and it's different every time. Most of the time you can check party finder and there will be party finders you can join instantly. If there's no party finder, sometimes they're just doing manual invites as you show up. You can always just say LFG or looking for group in the shout chat and someone will let you know how they're handling parties. If you do not join a party, then odds are you're not going to get as many rewards or any sometimes. It's based on contribution to which your party contribution is a cumulative total. Very important to join a party every single time when you get there. Or you can start your own if a lot of people are looking for groups, which you can just click on their name and put invite to party. There will be a lot of mechanics when fighting the boss and there's a good eventuality that you might die, but make sure not to teleport away. Just wait until someone reses you. Once beaten, you'll get your rewards and you're likely ready to turn them in. Now here's a list of vendors for each fate and a list of rewards. I will go from ARR or Realm Reborn to Endwalker. These rewards are based on if you get gold ranking, which should be no problem if you're in a party. Level 50, Behemoth Fate. He taken his eyes. Boss, Behemoth. Rewards, 5 behemoth horns and an achievement. Turn in vendor, Alina located in Mordona. Turn in rewards, a ton of behemoth glamour for your character. So this could be some pretty cool stuff depending if you can wear the headpiece or not. Level 50, Odin Fate, still rain, boss Odin. Rewards, 5 Odin's mantle and 1 achievement. Turn in vendor, Alina located in Mordona. Turn in rewards, 
tank roll glamour and chocobo barding. It seems this glamour is specifically for tanks, so if you're a tank main, this might be something you want to do. Level 60, Corals Chase Boys Chase Curls. These names crack me up. Boss Curl Regina. Rewards, one achievement and Cora Regina Horns. Turn in vendor, Bertana in Ildeshire. Turn in rewards for horns, spotted fedora and spotted Spencer glamours. Level 59, Prey Online Fate, Boss Noctuquale, I'm bad at pronouncing. Rewards from Fate, Proto Ultima Exoplating. Reward Vendor, Bertana in Idleshire. Reward Turn-Ins, Ultima Horns, which happen to be a favorite headpiece of mine from Riera. The most anticipated level 70, Ixion Fate, a horse outside. Boss, Ixion. Rewards from Fate, Ixion Horns, and one achievement. Reward Turn-In Vendor, Eschina from Rogger's Reach. Reward Turn-Ins, which are all amazing, Wind Up Ixion, Ixion Clarion, which is the mount, Ixion Barding for your Chocobo, and Ixion Trophy for your house. You'll need a total of 28 Horns for all the rewards, which is a total of 5 Fates. These take 36 to 72 hours to spawn, and hopefully you're online when they do, so I would get the roll in the Hunt Discord as quickly as possible to start working on this. For measure, it took me 2 weeks just to do 2 of them with unlucky spawn times. Level 70, Fate Fox Lady, Boss, Tamamo Gozen. Rewards from Fate, 15 Sasho Seki Fragments and 1 Achievement. Reward Vendor Turnin, Ashina Rogar's Reach. Reward Turnins, Tamamo Headband, one of the more sought out after headpieces in my opinion, Fox Kit Minion, which is another sought after minion, and Stuff Fox Housing Items, which is a little morbid if you think about it. Level 80, a Finale, Most Formidable. Boss, Formidable. Rewards for the Fate are an Achievement and 6 Formidable Cogs. Reward Vendor is Fathard in Yulmore. Reward Turn-Ins are the Iron Frog Ambler Minion and the Iron Frog Mover Mount. Level 80, the Head, the Tail, the Whole Damn Thing. Boss Arcotonia? Rewards from Fate are 1 Achievement and 6 Arcotonia Horns. Horrible pronunciation. Reward Vendor is Fathard in Yulmore. Reward Turn-Ins are the Toad Head, the Toad Suit, and the Tinker's Bell, which has to be a Disney reference. A key note here is you will see a lot of people with the toad head and the toad suit in all different colors running around all over Aorzea, so I would say this is a pretty highly valued glamour. Level 90, Devout Pilgrims vs Divadipa Boss? Boss name, Divadipa. Rewards from Fate are 6 Divadipa beads. Reward Vendor is Nezvaz in Radzit Han. Reward Turnins are the Gaja Head. Gaja suit and Divadipa minion and the Thobnarian barding for Chocobo. Again, I would say all of these full body suits that are like animal related are really highly valued. So you might just want to grab this one pretty quickly and make some cool glamours with it. Level 90, Omicron Recall, Killing Order, Boss Chi. An important mention is that you need flying in order to get to this fate. Rewards are six Chi bolts. Reward vendor is Navaz at Radzit Han. Reward turn-in is the level checker key which you need 12 chi bolts. I will have timestamps for all these for future use as well. I would like to know your opinion on this style of video. I'm working on polishing my videos more and making them a complete reference guide for all players. So let me know what you think. If you're looking for specific content guides, then you can find all my playlists in the description boxes for controller, job, sprout, crafting and gathering guides, and more. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy videos, then you can click here.